Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the Brevity Jumper Photo Backpack. Okay, it took me a second to get the name right because they do have um, a lot of different options on their website. This one here is a really awesome, um, kind of compact, I would say, camera bag. Um, most camera bags are pretty big, pretty bulky, usually for good reason. You are trying to keep your stuff safe so everything's really nice and padded. But this one here really intrigued me because it has a lot of really cool features. Everything inside is nice and protected, but it's really nice and compact. And I think that camera bags also make really great diaper bags. So I'm gonna show you here how I have it packed up two ways. So I'm gonna show you packed up as a camera bag and all the cool features, and then also give you some ideas for how you can pack it up as a diaper bag. Now let me just show you here the really cute logo on the front. It does say brevity right there, kind of in a rubber material. And then on the very back, you have the logo that says brevity there on the luggage sleeve. So the branding is really cool looking. It's really subtle on the bag. I love that. And not only does this bag come in this really pretty blue color, but it comes in tons of other colors. There's also a um, backpack that's actually a true backpack that doesn't come with any of the camera insert stuff. Now, I was expecting this bag to feel very um, canvassy, kind of a thick kind of rough canvas material, but this bag is so soft feeling. The material feels n so nice and high quality, and um, I'm just a sucker for good texture, and this just has a really nice soft feeling texture to it, and so that's something right off the bat that I wasn't really expecting, but I really like. The back itself is really nice and padded. These backpack straps are good width and they feel nice and padded and comfortable as well. They're also adjustable down here at the bottom. The grab handle feels very nice and sturdy. It's made of more of like a nylon material, I would say, um, but it definitely feels nice and thick and it's gonna hold the weight of this bag, especially when you have it full of camera gear. Okay, so let's walk through this. On the sides, you have this awesome opening here to get into the interior of the bag. It is nice and padded here. It's a super soft material. All in here is very nice and padded. Um, so I'm able to get my camera in and out from the side so I can just like sling it around on my back and I'm able to grab my camera in and out. It's probably one of my favorite features of the whole bag. On this side here, you have a nice slanted pocket. This does have some elastic here on the side so that you're able to um, fit larger water bottles. This is my um, Awala water bottle. This is the 25 ounce one. But as you can see, since it has that elastic, the pockets just kind of go streamlined again with the bag. Up here, you do have another strap. So if you wanted to put a tripod or something taller in here, you do have this piece here that kind of holds that item in, which is awesome. Now on the back, we already talked about some of the cool features here, but you also do get a zippered pocket here. And this is the perfect place to put your cell phone. Um, my cell phone fits there great. It is the Pixel 3a. Now looking at the bottom of the bag, you actually do have two more straps here where you can attach something. So if you need a bigger tripod or something like that, you can add that there at the bottom with no problem. Okay, so you actually have two separate sections here. This zippered section right here has um, pockets. There are four different elastic mesh pockets. In this one, I am keeping a remote. Then in this one over here, I'm keeping a little case that holds all of my different memory cards. Now on the front, um, in this pocket, I have a battery, a charger with another battery in there. And then over in this last pocket, I'm keeping the mouse that goes to my laptop computer. So zipping that up, you can see that there is another zipper right behind that that goes around. So let me just open that up for you and show you what that looks like. You can see that I'm onto the inside of the bag, which is so cool. So right here I have a strap that goes to my camera. So this is the pocket where I can reach in and out to grab my camera, you can see here. So um, I just have the strap in there to show you the size for right now. So there's my camera strap. I will insert a picture of my camera and the long lens that it has on it and show you that it does fit in here. And then on this side, 
I have right here a um, mic, and then I have taken the different dividers, and you can kind of play with this and make it what you want, but I have three different lenses here, and then over to the side, I do have a small tripod as well, just kind of tucked on the side there. Now, this part right here, there is padding right here, so this top section is actually a whole different section. Let me just take that out for a second and show you. That is a hard bottom right there, so you can put anything you want in the top here. But if you see here, there is a piece of Velcro right here because if you don't want to use this as a camera bag, you definitely don't have to. You can remove this bottom piece here and put it back up. It'll lay flat against the back wall of the bag so that you can go all the way through. That way if you have any tall items or you just want to use this as a regular backpack, um, you definitely can do that. You don't have to have it configured this way where this is the base. You can have the bottom be actually the base. So I think that's a super cool feature of this bag. I just love how everything is a super soft kind of felt like material in here that keeps everything really nice and protected. I also love that with this, you can just see everything that you need to. You don't need to go digging for anything. Everything is very, very accessible. Okay, up here, as you saw, I did have something in here. This is the Arlo pouch from Dagny Dover. It's the small. And in here, I'm just keeping some different cords. So I have the cord for um, my phone here and then the cord for my laptop on this side. And um, that fit in there great. Obviously, you can fit more. That's just all I needed in there for right now. And then let me turn this around and show you. You do have a long zippered pocket up here as well. And in here, this is actually quite a big pocket and I just have like random stuff in here. So I have extra cords in here and I have extra um, lens caps in here that I'm not using at the moment. So all the kind of odds and ends are in that zippered section. You also have this back compartment here, which I love because it's so slim already. And then you add this back section here and my laptop fits back here. This will fit a 15 inch for sure. My, my laptop is a 14 inch and fits in here. No problem. I have plenty more room here at the top as you can see. Um, so a 15 inch will fit there. No problem. Now let me give you some ideas for how you can pack this as a diaper bag. Okay, so let's start on the outside. I still have a um, water bottle here in the side pocket. In the back zippered section right here, I still am carrying my phone. In the front section right here, um, it, just in the center, I have my keys sitting in the middle. In these two back pockets, I am keeping some tissues. And then in this one, I am keeping some gum. Then in these front two pockets, I have um, my Dagny Dover accordion wallet, and this is the color graphite. I love this wallet. And then in this pocket over here, I'm keeping all of our masks. Now let me show you right here what I have on the side, what I decided. Something I feel like I grab for a lot is my hand sanitizer and also wipes. So I have boogie wipes here and then I have regular wipes behind that. So when I pull the bag off of my back, I'm able to reach in here and grab those items really, really easily, which is so awesome. Now showing you how I have this packed up as a diaper bag, I think you guys are going to like this. I think this is such a cool setup. So right here on this side, I have all of my, um, like I showed you some wipes and then um, an extra pull up in here just in case. And then right here I have it divided into kind of three sections. This section over here is really skinny, but mostly two sections. This section has lots of snacks. So I have like fig bars in here. I've got applesauce in here. Um, I have some RX bars, some gummy bears. And so when you kind of open the bag, this is how I do it. I lay it down, open it, get everything that I need, and then just easily close it back up. So I think it's so cool. You can see everything at once from a glance. In this section up here, I've just put some of the things for my daughter. So I have her little horsey here, and I also am keeping um, a little brush for her with a hair tie. And then over here on this side, I decided to slip in um, the play packs here, and also the boogie boards slide in here as well. And these slide in, this way so you can see that it fits in there perfectly sideways and um, doesn't take up any room there and I just really like this setup so that's what I have going on down here up here in this um, top section this is actually where I have decided to put some of my um, mommy needs and then some med needs so over here on the side I have a welly tin and then I'm keeping my small hunter toiletry case this has all the mommy stuff, antiperspirant, um, tons of lip gloss and makeup. Um, there's even some like medicine in here. 
And then I have extra like band-aids and stuff in this in this back mesh section as well. And I found that that just fits really nicely up in that top section there. And then right here in this zippered pocket, I am just keeping some uh, my pen and my tie to go pen. That's just all I needed to put there for now. And then let's not forget about this really cool back section. Um, right now I am just keeping my Kindle back there. To utilize these, if you're someone who needs to carry a baby carrier, I think this would be an amazing place to slide in a baby carrier and kind of attach that to the bottom. Because a lot of times it's really hard to fit it on the interior of your bag with all the other stuff that you need to carry. And you don't want to carry a huge bag and try and fit everything plus your baby carrier. So I think this is a great idea to just kind of strap it to the outside if you need it. And if you don't, then you still have a nice, thin, compact bag. Same thing with like a swaddle blanket or a nursing cover. You can place those on the bottom and tighten it up. Also, I was thinking you could put that in the side here in this pocket. It can be secured by this piece here as well. So there's a lot of options with this bag. I think it's very versatile, especially for a diaper bag. It's very different and unique the way that this is set up. And you're the one that gets to set it up. You have these different pieces here that you can play with and kind of set up the bag exactly how you would want it. And so that's something that I think really appealed to me when I was first looking at this bag to use potentially as a diaper bag. I do think it's very nice and durable, very well made, high quality. I think the only thing that I would worry about with this bag, um, just particularly this color, is it getting dirty. I think it would be pretty easy to spot clean, but you know, as always with light colored bags, that's something that you want to think about. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below. I will be sure to link Brevity, I hope I'm saying that correctly, I will link their company down below so you can go check them out. Um, I think they have really cool functional bags. Not only do they have camera bags, but they have come out with just a regular backpack as well. If you aren't interested in any of the camera function, um, there's tons and tons of different colors, which I love when companies offer lots of colors so that you can find something that you love. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for this fun review today, and I will see you guys in my next one.